Oh my god. So, anyway, back to my love life. I've been talking with this girl on Tinder. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, she is all about going to local shows, and she loves music and concerts. And I'm like, right on. Uh, did you go to Riot Fest? And she says, yeah. And I was like, okay. Top five performances. The top five performances she listed were like all of the bands we didn't see. So like A Day to Remember, May Day Parade, uh, The Story So Far, and you know, like the more emo yeah, shit yeah. that we didn't see. And I was like, oh, LOL, we have nothing in common. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and it's like, ah. Anyway, the moral of the story is two people can go to the same place at the same time and have two radically different experiences. Think about that. And I would have told her my top five, but she didn't have the courtesy to ask. It was like me talking to this girl has just been, so hey, I'm just going to ask you questions and maybe sometime you'll have the decency to ask me something. Hasn't happened yet. But she's 20, so you know. Like it's okay. I mean, I had a, I had a, I had a great online experience. Did you? Um. So, um. I think I told you before. Um, when you thought, uh, I think when I was telling you when my buddy white boy for uh the one white kid who lives in a bad neighborhood, who uh, when I told him I'm like, hey, sure. do you know any horse? Chucky from the hood. Chucky <laughs> from the hood. Yes, Chucky from. Get back to that. No, no, no. So, so he uh. <laughs> he, uh, dude, you're being racist. I didn't say it. I, I said white boy. Okay. I'm trying to no, cross the line. I'm trying to be edgy as a comic. Okay. So, so I, uh, so I was talking to white boy and I think I told you this last, year, like, I was like, yo, do you know any horse? He goes, yeah, there's this chick. And I went out with this chick. She was fucking great. She looked like, uh, a better looking Snooky, because Snooky to me look she. I never fucked a girl that looked like a Jersey Shore chick. To me, flaws turn me on more because it's not your typical fucking modeling magazine cover. You know what I mean? Like it's not a the a Barbie doll. You're not fucking like. You know what I'm saying? You're you're you're, you're not fucking the, you're not fucking what society is telling you is beautiful. That that eight that eight fit you know. So my rule of thumb is to. Have sex with anyone who consents. So, <laughs> so I say, fuck you, society. Okay. That's so. So so. Anyways, she. Uh, well, well, yeah. She, of course, she had consent. She's a whore, so she's like consent all the time. No, but um. Any, any anyways, so um. Uh, I I messed around with her for a little bit. Then she said that I'm not trendy enough. Mm. And then weirdly, four years late. So here's a pretty good story. Four years later, she tells me. Four years later, I'm on OK Cupid, looking for a girlfriend, and I randomly run into her. And she's like, "Don't I know you from somewhere?" And I'm like, "I don't. Do I kind of look like someone good from the behind?" Oh yeah, that's you. You know. <laughs> and and then, and and uh, so we started talking again, and once again, at the time I recently trimmed my beard she's like oh no are you wearing flannel do you have a long beard well then you just then you just look like a loser i'm like all right i'll wear a fucking fake lincoln beard for you get over here and let's do this you know that's romance that's right yeah that's where you get kinky when you bring out the lincoln beards you know see your problem is that you're not trendy enough my problem is that i'm too trendy okay and i feel like that's why women don't really appreciate me i mean yeah. I like you just the way you are. God, Phil. But so so what's great is I say, hey, can you um, you know, so you're because c- I didn't even realize we're talking on uh, we're we're talking online for like a month, and I didn't even realize she lived a block away from me. And I'm like, well, why the fuck won't you come over right now? It's like I told you, cause cause is that beard there? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Get off the beard, all right? And she's like, "All right, let's let's sex." And I'm like, "This is so fucking stupid," <laughs> you know. I'm like, "All right, fuck you." I'm calling somebody else. And on that list of horrors that I knew at the time, there was everybody else was whatever, tightening up or doing some vagina exercises. But, 
Anyways, so uh, so Kegels. Yeah, I believe they're called yes, Kegels. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive. Mm-mm, no, but there's there's a term for it. Okay. So I, uh, well, I, I knew a girl who used to pick up a beer can with her asshole. Is that kind of like Kegels? Mm, similar but different. Okay. Okay. Anyways, um, so she, uh, she's like, send me some pics of your dick, and I'm like, well, I think you should start off since there's there's less to see of me, so you got to work harder for it. Let me see some boobs. So she doesn't send me anything. Um, and when I was going out with her, that, that's that's what was weird. When we had sex, she would never show me her boobs. And I didn't know why. I later found out because she kind of had like these uh, E.T. fingers for nipples. These sausage link sags. She had really like salami. Like she had salamis, not pepperonis. So, and, uh, so, so I'm like, all right, well. You know, whatever, I'll fucking put gravy on them if you want me, like if it makes you feel more comfortable. But so, so yeah, she would never show me. So then I'm like, just show me a fucking picture. And she wouldn't. So then she showed me, she just showed me a picture of herself. I'm like, fuck, man, I got to send a dick pic now. And I really don't want to do this. I don't want a dick pic of me online. And dude, oh my God, this girl was a huge fucking airhead. So I literally got a picture of, I'm like, you know what? I don't even have a boner <laughs> right now be, because I haven't I haven't seen anything yet. Google images. Google images found a black cock and cuz she's such a fucking idiot I like edited it on my phone to look white. And as soon as I sent that fucking marathon 20 pics of everything it was fucking great. But I yeah. So there's so there's my experience with sexting. Whatever you do just look up black cocks, okay? Uh, <laughs> and have Photoshop installed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, that's great. Um. All right. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to take off. What? The Blackhawks offended this racist. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> that, that, race, that racism shit's got to stop. Uh, uh, that's like the pot Are you talking the to me? Black. What's that? You talking to me about that? Oh, is that God. direct? Who's that mostly, direct? Mostly you. How do, how do I have a Chicago accent? Oh my God! I'm there he goes, John. Run. All right. How do we wrap this up? I don't know, man. So well, you, you guys can keep going if you want. I think maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But anyway, thank you everyone for listening. This has been. Hear nothing. See nothing. Ah, uh, you killed you it, got John. It. You got nice. it. That I don't care what people say about you. You're pretty cool. <laughs>